You ring the doorbell twice? I'll be back. Feeding time! Yo, what's going on? Welcome to Feeding Time Review. I am the big guy right back and I break your back and make you humble. <laughs> Tonight, guys, I'm doing the Vegano's Vegan Steak and Onion Pizza. A little post-workout meal here and uh, I don't have the, the calorie count or anything yet, but I got one here and I think we're going to be all right with get out of here the Instagram thing is blocking my food can you see that yeah uh, I didn't get the best angle I uh you guys can see it the food, leave it that way so it's the people that want to see the food got a little vegan ranch here too I'm just gonna start tricking you guys and not using the word vegan in any of my food and finding really good food and just acting like it's normal so that people, because it is normal, but so people don't get mad. Because so many people get mad at the vegan stuff. But uh, we all eat vegan foods all the time. So it's, it's a really weird thing. I don't understand it. Like, I'm really enjoying this. Like I am, I was just upstairs. I had to shower a little bit ago and was flexing in the mirror. My body, like I look like I'm, I'm getting close. Sometimes you can't tell in the shirt how freaking jacked I am. But guys, trust me, today's been a good day. I have the presidential debate on. I had to turn the sound down. I was watching it just to be entertained. And I find it's like, man, I don't want to say anything bad about it. You know, but it would be nice just to, for a leader. I'm not saying it, it, it really it, it is what it is. I'm not a political person. I'm not going to. But like what happened to like empowering people? That's why I believe we have to be our own inspiration and, and whatever. But we're like in a time where, man. You got one side that's like trying to create fear. Like we have dark winters, a dark winter coming. Like, man, you're not empowering people or inspiring anybody. You're trying to create fear. Like, it, like there's just, and then the other side is, it's just like there's arguing and on the defensive. And there's like, it's personal too, which I, I get it. Like when something's personal, I get it. But it's just the whole thing, man. That's why I can't get caught up in it. And outside of these debates, I watched a couple of them here, and uh, that's it. I dipped this in the ranch first thing. I don't know why. Mm. Wow. Oh, I'll try some without the ranch. I'm a big believer in just sweeping your own porch. I've paid a lot of money in taxes over the years. I've never asked them for anything. But. Very unrealistic to expect an individual person to uh, help us with our lives. Only we can help our lives. And we do that by empowering people. Wanting people to, to, to stress the importance of, of knowledge and learning. Learning skills. I really believe in preaching a positive mindset more often than not. That starts with the youth. Implementing a better school system and teaching real life knowledge. You know, I don't know. There's just so many things. It's like we're so far down this this hole. It's just putting band-aids on. Eventually, it quits working, and I feel like we've kind of got to that point where the band-aids don't work anymore. It doesn't matter who wins. Like if you think one guy or the other is going to make like the virus go away and. Can't live in fear. I'm just ringing the doorbell. Oh, that might be Sophie Stroller. Ha ha! See, instantly in a good mood. Get off of the pollen. Ring the doorbell twice.
I'll be back. I'm back. Crazy neighbor ringing the doorbell over and over and over again. And I'm not... not oh. She literally rang it like five times. Oh. Doesn't realize I'm recording a video for Ryback TV. I have to stop this. She's not a crazy neighbor. She's nice. I just, she's excessive on ringing the doorbell. So much going on though in the world and like bad things have always happened we're born and we die and like we can't live in fear though and you can't blame anything on any person like when your time comes your time comes and like the fact that we're not respecting that is like pretty crazy to me when your time comes your time comes and you can't just like live in fear. You can't. And then specifically when we know the numbers and then to, to go the other route, then like, well, you don't care about human lives. Well, no, no, Tom and Sally, you point out a time when, when we look at, why don't we do that for everything then? I'll tell you what, there'll be no living. It's living in a fear with a fear mentality and I absolutely hate that. And we have this information that People with a healthy, strong diet that take care of themselves, take natural supplements and ingredients and, and vitamins and minerals and the mi right micronutrients, aren't dying. Why aren't we empowering people with that information at a mass level? Why? You can't argue with it, why? So it's just like, that's why I always will try to just pass on what I've learned that has actually helped me and I have it evidence that it has based off my own experience. Now, is he gonna say, is everything always gonna help everyone? No, probably not, but <sighs> crazy times. That's why I want people to be as smart as possible, to, be in, 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 to, to, to want, have an open mind. And I think we you need to preach that, but we live, the world's a crazy place. There's a ton of bad people. There's a lot of people that are not educated. And it, we're deep down in this thing, man. There's not a one size uh, fits all approach to this. I don't know where it went wrong, but it went wrong at some point. I'm optimistic that we just got to continue to try to be loving and positive as much as possible, but you can't put up with crap. You can't. Certain things you just can't, but 
This makes me happy though. This makes me really happy. This is way better than it has business being probably. The vegan steak, it's vegan cheese, vegan crust, vegan marinara. It's just a whole vegan pizza. make the president's debate nude. They'd like to see that. Not to see them happen, but let's just see them. Let's see what balls they have. Let's see. You want to run the country? You got to be all right being nude up in front of everyone. You got to see if you can take the heat. Ratings would be at an all-time high. Suck sales. Just check out Instagram. Anytime I lure you guys in with a clickbait when I take my shirt off, it gets way more clicks. Just Trump. Trump and Biden, just full-blown naked up there. You can have the cut thing in front of them. Let's see their upper body. Maybe occasionally if they move, you get a quick glimpse. Let's just see, you know? Let's see if you guys are all right letting it all hang out. Who's going to run this country, huh? That's a dangerous thing, though. It's dangerous. You can blur it out. You know, you can't just show full movie. you got kids watching, right? But, you know, we like to see we see if the president works out enough or a lot. And I know Trump likes the fast food and stuff, so I don't know. Biden looks like he's probably a little leaner. Biden's definitely, he hits up the cardio, I can tell. Biden definitely looks a little fitter, even though he's older. It would make it so much funnier, too, when they're just being animated and doing things. It's, just, it's amazing what clothes will do. Take them off. It's a game changer. Ah. I've gone over a month with no animal food or protein or dairy. And the inflammation in my body's gone down so much. I've made so much progress in the last four weeks. I don't want to I don't want to ruin it. So I haven't done a like a Ryback TV meat meal or anything. And not to say that I, I never will again. But my conditioning has gone up so much too on my cardio. I'm hitting like new highs on certain things. My body weight, hell, I went to bed at 297 last night. I'm getting leaner. I'm putting on like just my body, the, like every week that goes by, it just gets a little better and a little better and a little better. I'm like, I don't want to stop. I get between 350 and 400 grams of protein a day. When I want to really cut, I'll just cut my carb content down a bit and I'll increase my vegetables a little higher, which I have both in there right now. It's like not hard after you like you just realize, go, oh, all the foods have everything. I just wasn't buying the right foods. But I just now look at food like solely. I'm looking at it more from a performance standpoint on and, and giving it real anecdotal and anecdotal evidence through myself on, on because I, like, I, I, I'm kind of 
You can read all the studies in the world. You only really truly know unless you do something yourself. Now, studies can help give you a little information to, to get a little education on stuff on certain things, right? But I just think that, like, you got to realistically try something yourself and see. And right now, like, I'm going to go get the blood work, I think, is next week to go get the test. And I'll probably have that in a, in a few weeks, get the results. But just feeling-wise, it's unbelievable. But people get mad. I've never seen that. There's people that just get, and I'm just like, man, I'm viewing the food now from strictly a performance standpoint, not a convenience standpoint. And not to say that you can't have meat or chicken. I love the taste of it. I'm just looking at it like performance-wise, though, I'm doing so well off of it. I don't, I don't need it right now. I don't wake up with the morning pain in my back and shoulder that I had from the inflammation. And I was consuming a lot of it before, so. And now on the vegetarian diet, I'd gotten away from it, but I was doing a lot of dairy still. Cheese, milk, and different products. And then I just went full on everything. But. I just say do whatever you want, but I think learning about food and the history of food, I think is something that we all need to do. Knowing how we got to the point that we're at and like, you know, it's um, the power of plants. It's not that they, there's so many foods that we, we all eat already, that, but then all of a sudden when you just eat those and it's all of a sudden just vegan. I think that has the stereotype is, the, is a real issue with people when you hear that. But I think I'm in a really, really cool spot where I can show people like, nope, you can actually build muscle and be 300 pounds freaking jacked doing it the right way. And like, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really like, I, I really, really feel really good about it. Man, that was good. guys that was feeding time and that was the veganos steak and onion pizza really really good uh, I'm giving that out of a 10 though I'm giving it a 9.2 I think there was still room for improvement on it I think they could have had a little more marinara sauce I think there could have been more of the the vegan steak on there the onions were, were perfect amount for me. I was happy with that. The vegan cheese was really good. Um, and then dipping it in the vegan ranch, I really, I, I, I ate some without it and some with it. It was good both ways. I just felt like using a little vegan ranch, especially with the crust. Can, <clears throat> but, um, and the, the crust was also, it was, uh, it was a little chewy, uh, but not, not horrible by any means, but it was a tad chewy. Uh, but that's, I don't have a lot of experience on vegan pizzas, so I'm taking this information in and processing it as I go along. So yeah, 9.2 out of 10, not horrible. And uh, there we have it, the Vegano's Kitchen, Mexican uh, Kitchen here in Las Vegas. And uh, they got a lot of really cool different items in there, and I got some more stuff I need to try from there. So there you have it, my friends. Uh, the Feed Me More Nutrition, our last cash, cash giveaway details are in the description of the comments. Check out my Ryback show live Monday through Thursday and the Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report every Friday. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching this Feed Me More TV episode. To check out my podcast, The Ryback Show and the Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report, please support us over at Patreon, patreon.com 
backslash Ryback. We have two different tiers available over there for both those shows. Feed Me More Nutrition available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. All first-time buyers can save 25% on the website with discount code SAVE25. And for all personal videos from yours truly, cameo.com backslash the big guy Ryback. Thank you guys again. Love you very much. Get hungry, stay hungry, be more. Feed me more.